Since 1990, the number of fish in Lake Beckett has been decreasing at a rate of 1.7% per year. In 1990, the population of fish was estimated to be 121 million. We want to use this information to answer the following questions. A. Write the exponential function p of t for the scenario where p of t is the fish population in millions t years after 1990. So our exponential function is going to be in the form of p of t equals a times b raised to the power of t. So looking at our notes below, if we have an exponential function in this form here, a is the initial value or starting population at time t equals zero, and since t is a number of years after 1990, in our case, a is going to equal 121 since p of t is in millions. And then the base b is going to be the decay factor since the population is decreasing at 1.7% per year, where b the decay factor is equal to one minus r, where r is a percent of decrease per year. So notice here r that a percent of decrease per year equals 1.7%, but this must be expressed as a decimal, which would be 0 0.017, and therefore the base b, because we have exponential decay, is equal to one minus r, or one minus 0 0.017, which is equal to 0 0.983. Now that we know a and b, we know our exponential function is p of t equals a, which is 121, times the base 0 0.983 raised to the power of t. Part b, we're asked to determine the fish population in 1993. Notice 1993 is three years after 1990. So to find the fish population in 1993, we want to determine the function value p of three which is equal to 121 times 0 0.983 raised to the power of three. If we're ever not sure what value of t to use, we can always find t by taking the desired year, in this case 1993, and subtracting the base year, which is 1990. Notice how this gives us t equals three. Let's go and evaluate this on the calculator, and we are asked to round to two decimal places. So from the home screen, we could just enter 121 times 0 0.983, close parenthesis, raise the power of three, press enter. To two decimal places, this would be approximately 114.93. Remember, this is in millions. And because we're going to solve C graphically, I also want to show another way that we can find this function value. Let's go ahead and enter p of t in y1. To do this, we'll press y equals, clear out any old function, so we'll press clear, enter, and clear. Go back up to y1, and we'll enter 121 times 0 0.983, close parenthesis, raised to the power of x. We'll use x on the calculator, not t. And now because we have our function in y1, we could go back to the home screen by pressing second mode, and then y1 of three will also give us the function value of p of three. So if we press vars, right arrow, enter, enter, and then in parentheses three, of course we'll get the same function value. Now let's look at part C. Determine in what year the fish population will be half the amount it was in 1990. We're asked to round to the nearest year. Whenever we're determining how long it takes for half the original amount to exist, we're talking about half-life, where if you have an exponential function in the form of a times b raised to the power of x, remember a is the initial value, and therefore a divided by two would be half of the starting amount. So if we set our equation up in this form and solve for x, or in our case t, we can determine the half-life. So we set p of t equal to half of the starting population, which would be 121 divided by two equals p of t, which is 121 times 0 0.983 raised to the power of t. 121 divided by two equals 60.5, so 
So we have 68.5 equals 121 times 0.983 raised to the power of t. And since we'll be solving this graphically and we already have p of t in y1, where this side is in y1, if we enter y2 equals 60.5, we can determine the value of t that satisfies this equation by determining where y1 intersects y2. So let's go ahead and do that. Again, if we press y equals, we already have the right side in y1, so we'll press enter, and then for y2, we'll enter 60.5. And now before we graph this, we do want to adjust our window. So let's press the window key. We'll go ahead and leave the horizontal axis from negative five to 25. We can always come back and change this if we need to. So we'll press enter, 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 and now for the vertical axis, because the starting population was 121 million, let's set the horizontal axis to go from, let's say, negative 40, enter through, let's say, 150. Now let's press graph and see how this looks. So there's the exponential decay function. And here's the constant function, 60.5. Notice how we don't see the point of intersection, which means we need to increase the x maximum or extend the horizontal axis more to the right. So I'll press window, and let's change the x maximum to 50 instead of 25. we will press graph. So we're looking for the x coordinate or t coordinate of this point of intersection, which will be how long it takes for the fish population to be half of the starting population. So we'll press second, trace for the calculation menu, option five for intersection, and then enter three times. Enter, enter, enter. So notice how the point of intersection shows here below. Notice how it takes approximately 40.4 years for the population to reach half of the starting population. But a question does ask us to round to the nearest year. So we'll round the value of t to 40. So t is approximately 40, but this question doesn't ask how long it will take, it asks in what year this would occur. So to find the year, we take the base year of 1990 and add the approximate number of years, which is 40, which will give us the year 2030. So our answer is not 40, it's the year 2030. I hope you found this helpful.